I'm Lauren Bober and I am the Congresswoman for Colorado's 3rd District. Today we had a very successful roundtable with a lot of stakeholders and leaders in our local communities uh, in discussing the Bureau of Land Management headquarters in Grand Junction, Colorado. Diane Schwenke and I'm with the Grand Junction Area Chamber of Commerce. So I'm here um, to actually provide support for the efforts that the Congresswoman has already um, taken on in order to try and keep the BLM headquarters here in Grand Junction and potentially grow it. Um, it's a economic driver for our region, but even more than that, it just makes good sense. Today we were honored to welcome Representative Dan Newhouse, who is the chairman of the Western Caucus. He represents Washington's 4th District. So I'm chairman of the Western Caucus, and uh, what we try to do is um, elevate those issues that are important to our members. So this is very important to make sure that this office stays in the Western United States, that, that we continue, I think, to take the positive steps of decentralizing the federal government so it can be closer to the people. My name is Christian Reese. I'm the executive director of Club 20. So many of our community leaders brought up incredible points as to how we've already seen immediate impacts and positive impacts at that in bringing that headquarters to the West. So we're here to just continue to advocate for the retention of the BLM office in Grand Junction. We had broad support, not only from Colorado, but across the entire West. And that should not be overlooked. This was something that, that passed, that went through both chambers of Congress. And to try to overturn that in this new administration, frankly, makes no sense. Robin Brown, uh, Executive Director of the Grand Junction Economic Partnership. So our economy is very much dependent on our public lands, whether it's energy production or outdoor recreation, hunting, fishing, all the things that come with our public lands. Um, since the BLM has moved to Grand Junction, it's just been, it's been great for us to have, one, for the public and, and all the land users to have access to decision makers, and, but also for those decision makers and policy creators to understand the impacts of what they, their decisions on, on rural economies. Come out and visit, come see for yourself why we should have the BLM headquarters here. We fully believe um, in all the reasons for the, the BLM to be here and uh, we invite anybody who has questions about it to come out and see for themselves. You know, the impact economically, just if you look at that, to the communities here of having this office has been tremendous. But you also have to look at the savings to the federal government by having an office in a local area like this. So uh, I can't say enough about the good things that Congresswoman Boebert has been able to accomplish by her local act, by reaching across the aisle, making sure we have bipartisan support on this issue. I think that's going to give us a tremendous chance of success in keeping this office here. This is vital not only to Western Colorado, but to many Western states, as 99% per, of the federal lands are west of the Mississippi. And so this is a, a huge uh, impact having a, a voice here, uh, a representation here at, for the Bureau of Land Management headquarters to have a direct impact on the land use.